social activist Traffic Ramaswamy has said that he will approach the Supreme Court after the Madras High Court verdict allowed keeping banners welcoming Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Chinese President Xi Jinping to Tamil Nadu. Traffic Ramaswamy has claimed that there is absolutely no necessity uh, for the EPS government to approach court. He'd rather do it. Let's listen in to Traffic Ramaswamy. Airport Lindi, Mahabura, Varay, Parna, Little Banner, the Grone, Tavada Sang, Niriman Sani, the Ulik Tulli, and Ranakin Rain, Niriman Ram, our Seriana, Padam, Katpitir, and Anakin Rain, General Arasangam, Niriman, the Nara, and Avsima, Ile, Ilka, and Nia, Mundi Tiga, now throw Portana, Portugal. Manamara yet to let and the Varakun are on their body and Supreme Court to Bogara and the Varaka. India today's Luke Priya now joins me for more on the story. Luke Priya, uh, there was outrage after a banner killed a 23 year old scootrist uh, in, in Chennai. But even after that, is this specific to banners inviting the Chinese uh, President Xi Jinping uh, to Chennai uh, to, to Mahabalipuram, or is there a lot more? Uh, when it comes to banners in Chennai. What is Traffic Ramaswamy talking about here? Well, uh, Traffic Ramaswamy has been a crusader when it comes uh, to opposing the illegal banners. Uh, this is particular to this specific incident where the Madras High Court had said they had no objections uh, for the Tamil Nadu government and the MEA erecting banners to welcome uh, Xi Jinping as well as uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And it is in this context that he says he will approach the Supreme Court. There has been a lot of outrage on social media uh, with uh, regard to the entire banner controversy and many social media users have also objected uh, and uh, surprised how the High Court had given this particular order. But the High Court had made it clear that uh, there was no necessity for the government uh, to approach them uh, in seeking permission to erect banners and that is the uh, crux of it. Lokpriya, for the moment, many thanks for joining me. Now, AIA DMK leader C. Ponayan has held wind responsible for the death of 23-year-old Subhashri who died after an illegal banner fell on her as she was riding her two-wheeler on the 12th of September. Unfortunately, showing absolutely no remorse, Ponian claimed that the AIA DMK functionary who put the banner should not be held responsible. He should not be booked as he did not push the banner. He said if a case is to be filed, it should be filed against the wind. His remarks have sparked off widespread anger. BJP and the DMK have criticized his remarks. BJP's Narayan Tirupati called it barbaric. TKS Ilan Gowan of the DMK said, being a senior politician, Punayan should have been more careful and should not have made such a statement. On the 12th of September, 23-year-old Subhashri met with an accident and died after an illegally placed banner fell on her, resulting in a road accident. The Madras High Court had recently pulled up the Tamil Nadu government for not effectively implementing its order relating to illegal banners, asking the government to crack down on officials responsible for negligence. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, We Know You Would Love To.